I'm dating you. I'm not dating your kids. Let me cook for a second. I am dating you. I am not dating your children. You got a lot of people with this false belief that they're a package deal. There's no way. I don't have to gain the acceptance of your children. Your children don't have to like me, but they're going to respect me. And I think before, ladies, before y'all get emotional, he said one key word that be makes who? that <laughs> other than be who the one key word that he said that y'all probably overlooked is he said dating if you are dating i do agree with a lot of what he said yeah i mean from i am truth hurts blowing up on the internet yeah i, I see he him all blow over. internet he says that i'm not dating i'm not dating your kids i'm dating you okay so listen to what imf truth have to say man we're peanut it's this yeah. jump podcast oh maybe i should say have t say let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> i'm dating you i'm not dating your kids let me cook for a second. I am dating you. I am not dating your children. You got a lot of people with this false belief that they're a package deal. There's no way. I don't have to gain the acceptance of your children. Your children don't have to like me, but they're going to respect me. Do you know how many women right now that have nothing but fell relationships because you have these children that are unruly. Some of them are even unattractive. But the worst thing is that they're disrespectful. And they fuck up every positive relationship that you had because you don't know how to differentiate the two. That is a child that needs to stay in a child's place and I don't have to like them. They have to like me, especially the women who are looking for help for these kids, especially the kids that don't have a father. Here it is. I'm trying to come in and change the whole dynamic and you giving me a hard time. Ain't no way. It is no such thing as a package deal. I am dating you. I am whining and dining you. I am pursuing you. I am not pursuing your children. So it'll be in your best uh, interest. Matter of fact, it would behoove you to check your kids because they could be fucking up your happily ever after. Am I lying? The link in the bio right now, grab my books, Complicationships, they're not that into you. What the fuck is a trauma bond? You buy two, I'll send you the third one for free. Book a session if you need to talk, I'm gone. What, did he sell it at the end? Hold on. Did he sell it at Book the end? Book a session? <laughs> is he a damn therapist? <laughs> Come on, bro. Yo, with the plug, but see, he, he, he's right. He is right. And I think before, ladies, before y'all get emotional, he said one key word that be makes who? that other than be <laughs> who the one key word that he said that y'all probably overlooked is he said dating. If you are dating, I do agree with a lot of what he said. Yeah. Now, once you get into a relationship, all of that stuff he said is off the table. You're in a relationship with that woman. But you have to. You still have to. You have to. But take think about. It. I mean, bad children. You're not gonna get in a relationship if she right. got bad kids. Of, of course. But I'm just saying. You, you must be crazy. If they're okay, if they're okay, then once you get into the relationship with her, yes, you have to take them all. So homework, picking them up, all that kind of stuff. Number one, you have to communicate with her what you mm -hmm. what you are willing to do. Hey, listen, I'm comfortable doing this. I'm not comfortable doing this yet. And then that's the conversation y'all have to you know get to the where y'all both have a common ground yeah but it's all about communication first and the one thing that i've seen is that people get into relationships and as a man i'm just sitting here i'm chilling because i'm kind of waiting for direction like all right can i discipline these kids or no and then when i see them i'm like oh yo, 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 chill and, and, and you know what's right though they said i think that's something that you gotta when you know you're about to get serious with this woman yep. that's a talk that you gotta have yep. yo Listen, I, I, I may I'm, have to discipline your children. I'm, What's going on with I'm that? I'm used to running my house this way. And mm -hmm. I need you to understand there is no just going in my refrigerator. There is no running in and out Especially my house. Especially not washing your hands. Like, this, is my, this is how I run my household. So are you comfortable if your children are, you know, not following my rules? Are you comfortable with me disciplining them? But then, I mean, it, 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 it's a slippery slope because, I mean, if you have... If you are a true single mother, I'm talking about no father in the picture. If you are a true single mother and you meet that man, 
that man that you know you want to spend your time with, you spend your life with, you shouldn't have a problem with that man disciplining you. Right. Discipline your children. If you know that, that's a good man. Exactly. You know what I mean? But me as a man, and I'm dating a woman who has children, I don't have a problem with, with the mother deferring the disciplinary actions to the father of the children if I know she's doing it. But your, your children are not going to run roughshod through my motherfucking house just undisciplined. Nah, that, and no. Quick no, because then you can get out with those kids. Quick said, I'm not going to allow your kids to talk to me in a way that my own kids don't talk to me. Yeah, there you go. It's facts. There you go. Like, it's a certain way. My kids, they know. My kids know. You walk into a place, how you doing, Mr. Los? How you doing, Miss T? Mm -hmm. That's they it. Do that. Yeah. Now, we don't need to talk about it. You walk into somebody's house, you see adults, you speak. You don't have the option to say, "Well, they ain't speak to me." I don't give a damn. Nah. You're the child. And then if they don't, it would behoove you. It would behoove you <laughs> to open your mouth. Because if, if you if you, if it doesn't behoove you, you ain't gonna have no teeth. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the comment. Let's so Kiara Denise says, "Walking red flag." Because a mom and her children are not a are a package deal. Thank you, Kiara. Ah, Thank you, Kiara Denise. I don't know, Kiara. Don't you know. are the walking red flag. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Because for you to say that, you obviously don't understand. Yes, they are a package package deal. Once we're done, I mean, once we're uh, we move to that next level. That As next we're level. just in that talking dating phase. Yeah, I don't have to get you. I didn't took you out. I don't have to get Tarquavion and Tiana a two for twenty. Yeah. Now. yeah listen, we. No. We ain't going to Great Adventures all the right. goddamn time. No. I'm trying to date you, and you want to go to Great Adventures because you want to take your kids. Right. Leave them badass kids at home with your with grandma or somebody. Every time you keep asking me, well, uh, can we go to IHOP? I know them pancakes is free for kids. I don't want to go there. I want me a steak. <laughs> like, like you, 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 you drawing. Yeah. I want to go to Steak 48. Right. <laughs> and I ain't taking them there. <laughs> all right. So, second comment. Second comment from Monique. Monique says, I'd rather not date people with kids, honestly. And that is her choice. That's her choice. That's her preference. She's, that's her choice. My cousin yeah. is the same way. She is single. She has no children. And she will tell you from the from the start, I'm not dating a man with children. Her reasoning is a little different because she thinks that all baby dads smash their baby mamas. But she that's her choice. That's her, she yeah. says no. And she's she's she has that right. Yeah, yeah. Now, quick hit it right on the nail. If we are only dating... And not, I'm not in a relationship. You're not meeting my kid. Come on now. Come quick, on. Quick, you hit around the number quick. Quick, speak the gospel yeah. to him. Quick, hit around the number. Speak the gospel to him. Like, this is what it is. Like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. So let's go to the last comment. So, last comment is from Brandy Perkins. Brandy, Brandy says, I don't think a man will allow a female to say the same thing. Why not? You're a goddamn liar, bro. <laughs> Why not? You're a damn lie. Trust me, us men, we have said it. We have said it. Don't get it twisted like men just having babies and, and not taking care of our children or or feeling that emotional connection. Nah, fuck that. No, just 2024. Men are raising children now. Listen, you want to come in and make these lunches? You can. <laughs> yeah, man. Shoot, you can come in. Listen, one likes peanut butter and jelly. One will eat uh, a turkey and cheese. And the other one, he in the fifth grade, so he think he's supposed to get sushi. But if so, you think yeah. you can help me with that? He big spender. <laughs> if you can help me with that, hey, come on in. <laughs> the more, the merrier. <laughs> the hell.